pleasant you are in summer and what a pain in the butt you are in winter. Hey guys, it's Gloria. As you can see, it's gonna be a vlog today. I know I haven't been doing vlogs that much, not because I don't want to share with you. It's more because I actually don't have much of a life. I spent most of my time working on my videos, which are the ones you're watching right now. Believe me or not, it's a lot of work and I really enjoy it. I actually have to remind myself to get out more because I know soon I won't be able to. You know, I always wonder why I stay in a country where winter is like eight months long and summer is like two seconds. Anyway, it's not the time for an existential crisis. I hope you enjoyed this episode of some fun things I did this summer. So what do I do for fun, you ask? Well, in my free time, I usually find myself sitting on the patio of my favorite coffee shop, working. No, 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 scrap that. Let's do something more fun. Okay, technically, this is still work, but it's also fun. Here I am shooting a cocktail commercial. I'm definitely the best candidate for this because I don't drink, so I definitely won't steal alcohol. <laughs> Hi guys, Lisa, my friend. We're shooting a commercial today. Hey guys, do it again. <laughs> Don't care. Just kidding, just kidding. I care a lot. You haven't met Lisa before, but we're basically sisters. I know, obviously, we're not, but we kind of are. Do we have like a do we have something to sit on? Um <laughs> I have to go for it. I have to go for it. It's like a three minute squat. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. That should be better. Now it'll go better again. Okay. Way better. <laughs> Toronto Island is in fact my favorite part of the city. I love spending my free time here in summer. I keep saying this is the only reason I'm staying in Toronto. It just feels comforting to have an island in the middle of the city so you can get away whenever you feel tired of the hustle and bustle. We're heading to this nice cafe called Riviera. That's the place I want to be right now. Yay! Okay, so if you want to be here, you can't have symptoms of COVID-19, racism, or homophobia. I think I'm going to get that too. <laughs> Anyway, we spent the entire afternoon there just enjoying our time in nature. There's just something about being in nature that calms you down. I actually didn't used to appreciate nature, but I guess maybe I'm getting old and I'm starting to appreciate the little things like walking by the water while the wind blows against your face, feeling the grass below your feet, staring at the sunlight peeking through the trees, and creeping on other people's houses. I swear I'm not a creep. Um, 
Okay, so we are at Niagara on the Lake today. We're gonna visit the lavender field because we heard uh, lavender could reduce our stress. Yeah. So we freaking need that. Yeah, it's some chill time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Niagara on the lake is this little historic town right next to Niagara Falls, but it's so much calmer and prettier. It kind of resembles a European town somewhere, so I like coming here whenever I feel like pretending I'm traveling in Europe. This is a pretty iconic cafe. It's called Shaw Cafe and Wine Bar. Chicken salad, shrimp salad. And we're sitting by this fountain here. I guess I'm just drawn to the lake wherever I go, but this is one of my favorite parts in Niagara on the lake too. Don't worry, we haven't forgotten what we're actually here for. Okay, so we drove two hours to visit the lavender field and there's no lavender. Like, where's my lavender? I'm just pretend that I'm happy because we're at the lavender field. Everything is so purple. So purple. <laughs> Oh, it smells so nice. Okay, so it's raining. We're just sitting in the car waiting for the rain to stop. Lisa's taking a nap right now because we went into that lavender store for like five minutes. <laughs> Is it relaxing? Yeah. Yeah. Chill. It's working? Okay. It's working. <laughs> There's a little bug. I think it's drowning. Okay, so I guess this is the real lavender field. Yeah. I can't tell. So anyway, uh, we drove two hours for this. <laughs> it's okay, there's something called post-production. Well, no lavender, no problem. Niagara on the lake is also known for its vine yards, so at least we can steal some grapes. Look at all the grapes. I think this is for ice wine. Speaking of wineries, Keller Estates is one of the most famous wineries here. Just look at this bougie entrance. We were gonna have a bougie dinner here, but if there's one thing I learned on this trip, is that things don't always go as expected. The restaurant was actually fully booked, so we went to the more casual one next door. The lobster poutine is still bougie though. It's picnic day today, or more specifically, photo shoot day, because let's face it, no one would be that excessive if it weren't for the photos. My mysterious friend created this whole masterpiece all on her own. As for me, I'm just here to eat. <笑>好好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好
Goodbye, garlic bread. I didn't even get to taste you before you got taken away by the seagulls. I hope the seagulls have enjoyed you. Wow, I'm feeling artsy. I'm gonna do some artsy thing on my own today. Alright guys, Van Gogh just painted a portrait of me. My life has been fulfilled. <laughs>